Hello everybody, I am the Warm, and welcome back to Raging Lou. Yes, we're back at it today, and I'm starting in the main menu because otherwise I'd be starting at a game over screen, <laughs> which it feels like the last few times I've started. It's been at the great game over screen, and it would have been just me rambling on in silence. So, I've decided to start at the menu today, so at least I have some musical accompaniment while I ramble. <laughs> hopefully that will not... Well, hopefully that will uh, soften the impact of that. Um, last time was kind of a nifty episode. It was just a little uh, folkloristics lesson with uh, Ms. Mamia. And... It was quite a lot, and I've tried, since since then, I've tried to kind of look up all the different things she said, and really, I think I've just ended up confusing myself when I really didn't need to, but... <laughs> so let's, uh... I'm not gonna go over everything she said. A, a couple of the things I just, I don't think is entirely relevant. It's more just background and extra information. So I'm going to try and sort of summarize just some of the ones I think might be relevant to our story here, which in particular we're talking about the spiders. Um, so hang on, let me bring up the list of stuff real quick. So I mean, okay, so the two, well, let's see. Okay, talking about spiders. Um, in terms of Japanese mythology, there was the and of course I, I have to, I, I have to apologize to any Japanese people again. Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm going to be attempting to to pronounce your words and I will fail at that. So please forgive me. Um, we have the Jorigumo and the Tsuchi Gumo. Um, those are pretty much just general uh, spider monsters that have various different stories with, you know, usually, or y yokai, not just mo monster. I think yokai is a bit more, not just monster, it's also like spirits and things, evil spirits, I guess. Um, I'm sure that, I think there's an extra nuance to that, but... Um, the Jorogumo, in particular, tends to always be in the form of a woman. Um, which, uh, the spider in this game, that tends to be the Uematsu, which we know are particularly bedroom women servants, and the person representing the spider clan here is obviously Rakako. Um, interestingly, there was a connection made with the dreams, the dream catchers. Apparently that is both a tradition in both Native American and I think she said Japanese. And so I think that has been referenced with the Uematsu where they are particularly, you know, bedside women servants. So they're not only protecting, uh, humans in general, but also during their sleep. Um, at least, you know, we're talking about the supernatural here, the supernatural powers. That's That was part of what they were doing. Um, so, beyond that, there were a few other stories. There was one that was a, uh, there was a, a Buddhist story that I'm not sure how that relates. There was a mention of a Lovecraftian spider. I think it was the Atlak Naka or however it's pronounced. But I don't really see how those relate to the story, so I'm not really sure, you know, uh, how that is. And then I looked up all these other ones. So here's just a list of all the others. It's, there's Amatsukami, there's Kunitsukami, there's Ameno Minuka Nushi, there's Takamagahara, there's Ashihara no Nakatsukuni, there's... Nagasunu Sunehiko, there's Kojiki, there's Amano Iwato, there's 
o mononushi, there's o kuninushi, and then there's yao yoruzu. And so all of those different um, words, I looked them all up, and they're either types of gods, or particular gods, or concepts, or places, or people. Um, and they, they, after looking them up, I, I honestly can't really say how they're specifically, how they might be. I don't think they're specifically related to anything in particular we're doing here. I, I really don't. Um, unless, you know, if, if one of you think there's, if, if you're more familiar with these various concepts and entities, and have spotted a connection that we can use and want to let me know, feel free, because a lot of it was just so much. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and go into extreme detail on every single term she used, uh, because that would take up, that would be a whole video, that would be a whole episode. And I, you know, I, I do think we want to continue on with the game. Um, although, it, it, that's not to say it's not interesting, it's just, um, I, I do want to continue playing the game. So, yeah. Now, we got, uh, uh, where was it? Would it be, can we see it in the album? No, we can't see it in the album. I'll have to actually get in the game. Um, yeah, okay, let's actually get into the game. I want to look at a key here. Okay, okay, here we are. I want to look at that new key we got. Which one was it? I'm going to read it again just to... Here we go. Myth and Archetype. Sakotami some useful knowledge about mythology and psychology stories about spider divinities. Ematsukami, Kunitsu, Kunitsu Kami, and Great Mother Archetype. Okay, so the dream catchers. Okay. So, um, relating it to this, the Amatsukami and Kunitsu Kami, it's... From what I read, the Amatsukami are gods that are in, what was it, Ten, uh, what was the term, let me see, I wrote it down, Takama Gahara, which is, again, I'm not sure if these are one-to-one, -one. I don't I don't think they are, but just putting it into terms I can understand, Amatsukami are gods from heaven, if you want to put it like that, the sky, and Kunitsukami are gods of the land, so to speak. So, um, this the fact that they're bringing that up in the key makes me think, perhaps there's going to be some kind of distinction with the, um, with the various supernatural entities we're dealing with in this story here. So, like, is... Is the is what is what am I thinking? Um, Shinai sama is Shinai sama a kunitsukami or um, I I'm I'm not sure I'm I'm not familiar enough with the concept to make a judgment call. My my instinct would would want to say kunitsukami because he's been called the god of the mountain, which is a geographic feature. But again, I just don't know enough to. To make that call and to, to really understand what that distinction means, really. And yes, we did have the Great Mother Archetype talk. Um, where it's, what is it? Great Mother, or it can be Devouring Mother, something like that. Um, and yes, I, we just, I just a few minutes ago talked about the dream aspect of the Uematsu family. But... Here's the question here. Now then, what could be the spider of Fujiyoshi? I'm, I, I don't know. Um, there was a comment. Yeah, okay, so I think it was Unknown Pitfall. Unknown Pitfall, I don't know if this will be the case, but it, it's, it was good that I got reminded of this. It was... Remember, there was that giant creature at the end of darkness that was um, 
somehow maybe blocked out the sun and had destroyed the country. Um, is that a kind of spider? Because it, it had... It, now, if anything, it, it, I would... It, it looked kind of Lovecraftian. Um, but it had many legs. Um, I think we only saw four. But, you know, maybe whatever that creature was, it could be somewhat spider-related. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I am curious how this is going to fit into this. Um, but that's that's pretty much all I got. Uh, it's the idea that maybe some of the different supernatural entities we're dealing with might be d distinguished in some way, the connection with the Uematsu, the giant creature we saw at the end, but I, I don't really know... I feel like there might be some revelation or some there's something we're supposed to puzzle out with this that I I do not know or can't put together uh, just yet. Uh, maybe if I were Japanese or or just more familiar with the myth or or the Shinto, um, maybe I'd be able to figure it out. But I don't think I can. <laughs> okay, so let's. Get back into it. Let's try to... Well, I guess we'll... Oh, it, it, something that was funny to me is... Um, yeah, Lee mentioned this. Apparently, this this whole... The last episode, the whole folk, folkloristics episode, we only needed um, key 20. So technically, we could have done this before the Konzo episode, which is kind of interesting to me because apparently we have the option to do either and yet it, i guess i guess that's the case that's that could be the case if you don't l watch these uh hint corners um yeah i guess if you've just if you haven't been f watching any of the hint corners um you you know you'd have to go out and find the um you'd have to find the new paths by yourself so it's interesting to me that we could have tackled these last two episodes in either order. Okay, let's let's continue on. Um, I'm curious to see if this is going to be another fact-finding episode or if we're going to be moving the plot along. So let's let's find out. Tell me where to go, sheep. いちょう大切行ってみとくか。今回のバッドエンド12題して欠けた物語のパーツを集めた後、大宅な実施についてだが。That's <sighs> that's quite a title there. <laughs> I don't know, I don't really know how to feel about seeing the words lazy and suicide next to each other. Lazy suicide. Have you ever heard of a suicide described that way? My goodness. I mean, it's 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 accurate to what happened, but it's it's just kind of strange. Mami and Hisako have been talking about a lot of things in the middle of the night. Which one is the truth? Let me see it in the end of the day and see it in the end. I see. So maybe I wasn't supposed to understand all that yet maybe i'm missing some context that's good to know because i just uh, last episode was just kind of a head scratcher for me I think we've already done that, right? その後行くのは順路としては、キー3で開く場所だ。つまり、4、潜入の9、備えは十分か。Four infiltration queue all set. すげえ情報が手に入るぜ。よし、今回はここまで。Four infiltration queue all set. Okay, 
Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, let's go to chart. For infiltration, here we go, for infiltration, there we go. We are going to... Where? All set. So this is, let's see, let me see if I can recall what's going on here. Reunion with GME Spire suggests that too. So this is before, yeah, so this is very, this is way before the, not way before, but before the, here's where we decide to switch rooms with, um, or is it? No, th this is wit, so... No, yeah, th this is where we decide to s either switch or not with... Um... Oh, how am I blanking on his name? Hashimoto, right? So this is before that. Okay, let's, let's, see, let's see it. We're all set. Yeah, okay, this is where we get the prefab. The equipment and the materials were all gone. The only thing of note here was a sink on the wall. The flooring was cold and a bit sandy. But with a bit of cleaning and a futon, it could be a decent living space. There was no running water, but if we placed a water bucket here, whoever da, 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 da. Talk to Kinosuke. Okay. Sure. I feel like this is going to be a plot advancing episode, considering we need two of those final keys. At that moment, my head was flooded with information. It felt like my mind was crushed by a million sheep. Crap, why'd I forget? Did my memories carry over in a weird way because of the method from back then was weird? Well, then again, this wouldn't be the first time my memories didn't carry over properly. Maybe I should have counted myself lucky for remembering at all. I had tons of things to think about. About the beast in the village. The giant monster. So there's at least maybe five, maybe six legs here, maybe. I mean, if you wanted to, sh if, you, if I had to guess if this was a Lovecraftian spider, I, I, I would, I, I'd agree if you told me that. Do you think this is, these things are ribs? Are meant to be ribs or meant to be like a giant mouth like uh you know fangs something like that uh, i don't know i don't know it's it's creepy and weird let's move on the dream enveloping fujiyoshi as well oh yes of course obviously i forgot to mention yes we are in a dream so the talk about the dream catching in the spider that's there's a connection there yeah okay as well as the looping the sheep had told me about. But, this wasn't the time to worry about that. Are we actually going to get to see the inside of the Nisato mansion? That would be pretty cool. I went back to the Nisato mansion. Doorbell. Gomen kudasai. Doorbell. Gomen kudasai. Doorbell, 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 doorbell. What is, uh... <laughs> what is this a reference to? It's your boy Haruaki. Who else would it be, Kyo? I was. What did he call it? Buddha's Ashrock? That 
might be something to Google later. Yeah, Shoki this. Gozon j i n a n d e s n e b u s h a r i Rock. No, 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 エラクマイナーな貧者を第三部ならブラックドゲザーあたりが定番なんじゃないのかね Is this all obscure Japanese music or is it popular Japanese music? Who knows? あ,あブラックドゲザーが5体集まってブラックドゲザリアになるところは圧巻でしたね Maybe we're not talking about music. I have, I have no idea what these guys are talking about. ノサトさんはオタクですね Is it、uh, an anime or something? Kimi <laughs> Modaro. Wow. <laughs> Has a kinship started to develop? Yo, my n a k u r a b i n o what I did, Simbok of Kamitated by Ka. Mo yo and I don't. Isoga seen Dagane. Okay, they're movies. Okay, I was a bit confused. I didn't know if it was music or a show. It's movies. Gotcha. ノサトさんを分かってくださる方だと見込んで相談があるんです一体何だというのかね僕は今から突拍子もないことを言います一般的には正気じゃないと思われるようなことをいや現実と虚構の区別がつかないと言ってるわけじゃないんですよむしろ一般人よりつく方でしょうただ虚構じみたことが現実に起きたときそれを受け入れる素養があなたにはあると見た待ちたまえ何が何だかあの劇場版作品をご存知ですか同じ日を学園祭の前日を繰り返し繰り返し体験し続けるふんあああれかまあ傑作だからね教養としては知っているがそれが僕は同じことを体験しています待ちたまえもう数時間でサラナガに霧が立つ読み意味の宴が始まり多くの死者が出るなえ君は何をいやその前になぜそんな言葉を知っているそしてあなたも死ぬし質問に答えたまえめったなことを言ってるんじゃないぞそうは言っても信じられないのはわかります僕は何十回かこの数日間を繰り返し体験していますそして死亡しまた巻き戻っているそのためこの集落の事情はほとんど知っていますたった今ここに来たよそ者なら知りえないようなことをあなたが大卒の医師医学博士で鴨志田近持ちのおじにあたる禁煙者で植松里香子に思いを寄せておられるとか<笑>しかしそれを言っても納得してはもらえないでしょうどこかで調べたことかもしれませんしねしかも、僕はあなたを助けるとかの目的で来たんじゃない。おそらくあなたは今回も、死ぬ。しかし、話を聞いていただきたい。今回ではないいつか、読み意味の宴を止めるために。本気、なのかええ。なぜ私にそれを僕はこれまで何度も宴に参加しあなたの人となりを見てきましたまあ素養についてもそうですがあなたは話せばわかる方だと踏んでいます<笑> so, um, huh. Yeah, I, I was finding it interesting how with the、uh, I mean he's explaining it now but I, I was finding it curious how 
going to Keo, his strategy was just to, you know, lay everything out, uh, you know, not not even try to make a cover story or, you know, put... Yeah, he's just, it's just straight up. And, um, I don't know, it got me thinking. <laughs> I was thinking what it would take for someone to convince me of something like this, you know? And I guess the thing is, if if they if there's someone who can loop endlessly, they would eventually find a way. It's just I'm not sure what it would take for me personally. Certainly, being able to list all t tons of private things out of nowhere would would be a, quite a um, quite a a good opening move. But it's still quite a jump to go straight into believing they're looping. But again, there'd probably be more than that, but it looks like Keo is believing in this. Yeah, it looks like he does. Of course, he's going to have... I'm sure he, he has to know... It, it's not, I don't think he's a culprit or anything. I mean, he might be, but I, th I think he'll, he'll have at least some more background for us that's going to be very important, considering his status as a member of the head families. There. Ooh. Fancy. He let me into a well-furnished reception room. The inside was as fancy as the outside. The village heads had to be a really, a really wealthy bunch. Excuse me. He returned from the kitchen carrying a set of black tea. すみません。ジロジロ見ちゃって。時代錯誤なのは私も感じるところだ。気にしないでくれたまえ。さあ、どうぞ。ああ、すみません。お構いなく。育ちが悪いもので、何か武作法があったらご指摘ください。Like, if I were Keo, I'd ask something like, okay, how many times have we had this conversation? <laughs> you know? Just how long has it taken you to convince me of, uh, of this? やかましく飲まなければ結構だ。承知です。しかし、この部屋も戦々戦台とやらが用意なさったものなのですかどこでそれを聞いた? Funnily enough, I think it was you, Kyo. I think that was when, uh... I think that was in darkness when... Haruaki as the wolf claimed that Kyo was a wolf. And Mochi sided with us, sided with the wolves. And that made you so upset that you said he was like him. Something like that. Like the ancestor. あれだ。他の長者の事情を知る者が君に吹き込んだのだな。目的は何だかよくわからんが。詐欺とか。あなたですよ。何があなた自身の口から聞きました。鴨志田近持君との関係性が悪化を極めた時、あなたは彼へ言い捨てていました。お前は戦々戦台にそっくりの狂人だ。と。He closed his eyes and groaned, then laid back on his sofa. 興味深いから話だけは聞いてやろう。というつもりでマネーたのだが、そこまで踏み込んだことを知っていると信じたい気さえしてくるがね。信じていただかないと困るんですが、とはいえ、もう証拠っぽいものは持ち合わせていないので、代わりに僕がこれまで体験してきたループ
Here's a question I have. The dreamer, right? The dreamer must be limited in some way, right? I don't know how, but I don't think the dreamer is omnipresent or omniscient in the dream. Because otherwise... The sheep told us that the dreamer has some way of detecting if there are other dream wielders. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know. I'm, I know I'm going on a tangent here, but it was just... Because Haruaki, you know, he, he's just spilling the beans, right? About how he's a looper and how he's investigating and trying to figure out all this stuff. Like, w would the dreamer be opposed to him doing this? Or what? And, and the reason why, again, why I'm, I, I'm thinking that now is because I don't know if we need, we as in Haruaki, I mean, if Haruaki needs to be careful, you know? We need to be careful we don't ever cause the monster to appear again because that'll be the end, right? That'll cause the end of the world and the sheep can't, uh, pu can't put us back again because the, the dreamer will detect it, right? So... I find it a bit, like I get, we need to get, we need information from Keo, and the way to do that is to just give him the information, because he's sort of rational and will believe it. Um, but but I, there's a certain part of me that's wondering, isn't that kind of risky, because say, you know, I, I doubt it, but say he's a dreamer, suddenly he's aware of this. Would that not be dangerous? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. Just just a random thought I just had. I don't know. No gaki wa ii. Hayaku stamai. I drank the fragrant tea and spoke. About the time Yasunaga Uribe won as a wolf. About the time Chemi tried to kill everyone and the time she failed. So she, he's just saying everything, my goodness. And even how, at the end of that time, Kinoski she had, for some reason, killed Rokako-san. And then I killed him. That was a crazy one. I still don't, still don't understand this whole thing. Although now that we know that the mist can sometimes end early... Hmm. I have, I have a thought about it. Okay, finally I told him about the time I became a wolf and sacrificed my companions to win. Though I kept quiet about the sheep and the giant monster for now. Good. Good. At least keep especially the sheep under wraps. Yes. I think that's a good move. It was hard to think he was the main culprit behind the loop, but there was no guarantee that it wouldn't leak out somehow. Okay, so Haruaki is worried about something like that. Okay, that's good. At least I'm not crazy to think about that. Thus, I only told him that I hang I was hanged because Mamiya-san found the flashlight. I'd also mentioned that Kinoskishi died too, and that I'd heard of the thing from his great about his great grandfather then. After about an hour of talk, he stood up to get more tea. He poured it in, and I gladly drank it. Unlike before, it was herb tea. Tired from talking, I let the pleasant scent of the tea wash away my fatigue, and eyed him. He was hanging his head, looking down at the tea leaves floating in his tea. He then took the cup in hand, drank some of it, and looked at me. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Care to elaborate? Shinji 
見てきた君ならばわかることだろう私はそんな苦境において何かをなせるような器ではないと<笑>無関係なところから話すようですがあなたのそのスタンスが僕はいまだによくわからないのです当初あなたはただの傲慢で尊大な人物にしか見えなかった後に問題は長者と安水の対立にあるのかと思ったあなたは実際のところ少々地元との折り合いが悪いというだけの人物で分別も才覚も備えておいでと見えます時々無茶をなさってはいるもののおそらくご自分の評判について客観的な評価もなさっているはずですとなると脳ある鷹が爪を隠しているとも思えてくる実際のところ長者が読み意味の宴に一枚噛んでいることはほぼ明白だと僕は考えています、Agreed. となるとあなたは何かを知りながらそれを隠しているのではないかそうも思えてしまうんですなのでまずお願いしたいのはあなたが知る安水の藤吉の裏を語っていただきたいということですなお先ほどの話の中でも触れましたが植松家のことのようにデリケートなこともあると思いますただそれでも知りたいですすべてを私が話し下手で場の仕切りもうまくないのは単に私がそういう人間だからだよ知っているかと思うが今の野里の当主は私の実刑だよくできた男だよ知性と品性を兼ね備えた好人物だ私は幼少の頃から彼についてばかりいた彼のそばで好きなことを言ったりやったりしていれば彼がうまく回してくれたそれで全てがうまくいっていたものだから私は自分が才覚に恵まれた秀才なのだと思い込むに至っていた二十歳になるまでには自分は盆栽で筋道だったものの考え方をするのが苦手な顔面な人間なのだと自覚したがねだからここを出たのだよかといってあまり馴染めなかったがね唯一馴染めたのが大学の SF 研究会でねまあ煮詰めたようなどぎつい人間の吹きだまりめいた場所ではあったがそれでも頭は抜群に良い連中ばかりで留年を重ねた会長は極まったダメさとともにリーダーシップを備えていて副会長となった私が彼の横でただ器具や憶測や辛辣なことを言っていれば彼が全てうまく回してくれたものだよ私には自分で場を仕切る力はないそれは理解しているのだおそらく君が見てきた私は牧島王や織部康永君あるいは室のやつに役立とうとしたのだろう一方で私はそんな状況でも自尊心を捨てられなかったのだろうね自分は長者として場を仕切るべきだなどとこれもまた私の非合理性だまったくろくでもない人間だよ私はここまで言ってきてなんですがあまり卑下なさらないでください僕にはあなたが十分に分別ある人間に思えるそれは君があまりにも突拍子もないことを言うものだから逆に胸の内を素直に話す気になっているだけだついさっき君に応対した私のことを思い出したまえいかにも尊大で横暴なつまらん人間だよまあたとえ君の語ったのが全くの作り話だったとしても自制のいい機会にはなったと思うべきかもしれんな
君が授業料をよこせなどと言い出さない限りはだがね<笑> My heart ached a bit. そんなこと言いませんよ、もちろん。But I was exposing the current him to danger. さて、少し話がそれたか。君が聞きたいことについてだが。残念ながら、私は本当に家から見限られているようだね。それは、つまり。ああ長者として知るべきところ過去のあらましなどは教わっているがね裏の計画など全く聞いておらんよああただかつて安水と上藤雄氏がどういった形の対立関係にあったかというのは聞いた覚えがあるな、hmm. Can you be more specific? それはぜひ聞きたいです。Let me see. Okay. Unfortunately, barely anyone knew about the village and the feast. Or rather, they all converged upon a certain old story. It was a minor bit of knowledge Kinosuke Shi knew as a village head. And he said that Yasumizu had once rebelled against Kama Fujiyoshi. They didn't know what prompted it, but apparently it had something to do with the water used for growing crops. Anyway, the people of Yasumizu invaded Kama Fujiyoshi at night and stole, beat, and killed people. They were all covered in Saranaga's mud to keep them from being identified. Kama Fujiyoshi's inhabitants greatly feared their appearance. Thus, after the rebellion, they decided to make things even worse for Yasumizu, and the inhabitants effectively strangled themselves. Apparently. Shinamini, Saranaga no Doroga Unnu, Toyu Kenwa, Fujio Shimura no Doktokuna Shisekan, Yomiga Unnu Toyu Hanashi Mo Tsnagaru to Moare Gane. What,、uh, what time frame are we talking about? Or is that not relevant? Because we know the first feast, or at least the first feast that we know of that isn't a myth, happened、uh, during World War II times.、Mm, but the timing may not be relevant, let's see. Tatoe ba, sono han lan ga kik kake de, doro mami de no yasumizu jin o yomi bito da to minas yo ni natta, toka deska? Sore wa kangae rare nak mo nai ga. 少々早計だと私は思うねすでに安水と上藤雄氏の住み分けはされておりなおかつ安水が反乱を起こすに足る状況はあったのだろう泥を塗るという発想もそもそも皿中が読みにつながるという伝説があってコブや威嚇のためにそうした可能性があるなるほどじゃあその事件はどう捉えるべきなんでしょうか例えば現在でも行われる新内祭山祭りで行われることの理由付けなどか、はあ、上藤雄氏から出発した狼行列が安水のものをひれ伏させて水をかけるという私から見てもどうかと思う儀礼がある彼らが農作業の時にかぶる綿布を見たかね Um, we've seen. We've seen Haru wear this. And I think we saw Tai. Tai Ba wear this. Eh, Yasumizu no mono ga, Yomi bito to me o a w a s e n a yo ni suruto. Yaku da yo. Are wa. Kami Fujiyoshi no mono ga. Yomi bito kamo shire na Yasumizu no mono to me o a w a s a z ni sumase r tame ni. つけさせたものだ、wow. このように古代じみた迷信に基づいた不条理がまかり通っているのはかつて連中が一線を越えたからそれが長者側の言い分なわけだよ口にすると一層ひどいな
そんな祭りや風習がどうしていまだに続いているんでしょうあれはむしろ休み水にとって重要な祭りと言えるかもしれん何があるか知らんのかねええ存じません狼行列は休み水中の置き場をめぐり住人に水をぶっかけるなどした後休み水の集会堂にて妙台と会う We know the splashing of water is certainly relevant Tyson, huh? そこで狼役はいくつかの品を奉納するとともに妙台に対して祭りが滞りなく終わった例として少なからぬ金品や嗜好品の類を送るのだよ普段経済的に孤立させて締め上げておいて祭りの時だけ大盤振る舞いをするとその通りこれもまた神藤吉氏による安水の支配の仕組みの一つだと言えるこの時の金品は住人の間で分けられ彼らの生活費のかなりの割合を支えていると聞いているそれもこれも彼らに反乱を再び起こされるのが怖いからというわけだ一応言っておくと野里はこの方式にあまり賛成しておらんよ固執しているのは藤吉村の長である身車家の方だ Interesting. それと樋口もか彼らは彼らで安水を踏みつけるのが合理的だなどと口にしてはばからん不可解な連中だ、uh, Speaking of the Gucci Um, I think I was told also I got the chronology wrong last time. I think I said Higuchi died in the most recent feast before this one, but I think it was actually the one before that. But it, that's just a minor thing. I think it's just a minor thing. Oh, it's a minor あくまで私の知る範囲その通りだ as far as you know, huh? すみませんはっきりさせないといけないので実のところ今の野里さんの言葉にも少し引っかかっていますあなたは先ほど反乱は迷信のきっかけではないだろうとおっしゃいましたとなれば山祭りも反乱が契機だったとは限らないそして、山祭りと読み意味の宴は、様式から実務上の役割まで、かなり関係が深い。おみきが宴で飲まれたという話かね。それはたまたまなのでは。筆記具や縄や、縄を切る鎌まで、人揃え奉納されるとなれば、少なくとも、身車は宴の段取りを知っていると考えるべき。Yeah, we did hear about that. というかここまでくれば僕は断言すべきでしょうね読み意味の宴は安水の圧迫による権力維持を目的として長者により行われている犯罪行為ですよさすがに反論させてもらおう君自身が語った読み意味の宴は化け物が現れる鍵が勝手に開き、超常的な罰則が与えられる怪奇現象だ。Yeah. So the question for me is: Are the is the supernatural hijacking this otherwise horrible but otherwise mundane? Not mundane. It's 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 horrible and frightening. Mundane is in the The sense that there's no supernatural stuff happening normally. Is there a supernatural force hijacking this event, or is the supernatural involved directly with the otherwise mundane culprits? That's, that's a question I think we can ask. So, the most important thing is that 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 the most important thing is that
科学的説明をつけねばならんのではないかねうん。You know what? We should have asked Konzo about this. Did Konzo experience supernatural stuff going on? Certainly, we know that some people were killed by corruption. But was it the exact same corruption that we know? He said, he said that, I think he said that his daughter in law was brutalized, right? That's pretty similar to what's happening now. So maybe there were supernatural aspects to the last ones too. Huh. So, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the I ended up being disappointed once. This house had a storage building, and there were archives there. There had been a lot of documents left by Kinosuke Shi's great grandfather, but they'd been sorted after he died. Thus, there were barely anything left. There was barely anything left. And the record storage is more just a general storage. Even so, I insisted on taking a look, and now I was here. It really was just a place stuffed with various things. この建物はそもそも現状はただの物置として使われているということで間違いないのでしょうかああしかしたまに人が住んだこともある例えばどんな方が先先代先代の当主は隠居した後野里屋敷にこもっていたようだがね<笑>つまりあなたのお父様もああ移住後急に吹け込んで猛録した挙句服毒して死んだがねそれは本当ですかいつ頃の話ですか一体8年前だよおお That is an important number 前回の宴がなされた年何あ確かに霧が出た後のことではあるがではその時も宴は行われていたのかねはいあなたの辞書で人がたくさん死んだのもおそらくは崩落事故を隠れみのにしたなんてことだいや待ちたまえとすると君は私の父が何かを知っていてそのために死んだとでも言うのかね可能性はあります加えて野里屋敷が戦前先代以降の野里家当主の隠居場所として使われていたという事実僕はここにまだ隠された何かがあると思いますあなたが言う富士吉村の支配形式に反感を持っていた野里家というのが本当ならばなおさらその可能性は高いさがそう残されているとすれば隠されているはずですねしかし屋敷は蔵も含めると広すぎるまして探すものの大きさもわからないとなるといやある程度大きなものですよ探すべきは歴代のご当主が隠れて書き物や調べ物ができるほどのおそらくは隠し部屋のような図面があったはずだは
図面に問題がなく実際の建物とも同じだとすればここに嘘を書かなくてもいい場所に隠し部屋があることになりますどういうことだ蔵の地下に行きましょう。なるほどつまり地下ならば図面の外にはみ出した空間があっても建物の形に影響は出ないそうです図面にはただそこを書かないだけで嘘はつかないで済む。一層探しづらいぞ。Well, he was right that sifting through the mess would take forever. But we could make it a lot easier if we focused on the floor and the walls. I'd left my bag in the prefab, so I had no flashlight. I asked Masato san for something, and he prepared an aged oil lamp. Skuzuku. 物持ちが良くてらっしゃいますね懐中電灯も探せばあるだろうがまあこれも気分が出ていいだろう I knew、exactly、what he meant. It took us less than half an hour to find it. Of course, it wasn't something that looked like what we were searching for at a first glance. But it did seem a bit unnatural. There was a palm sized crow carved on a wooden surface below the mortar wall.、Uh, can, I, can I hide this? There must be a way, yes. Here we go, look here. There it is, bottom right. It was the symbol of the Nisato family. 何かの目印ではないですかあるいは仕掛けかやはりただの木彫りではないカラスの体の各部が独立したパーツになっていて押せそうだボタンですかゲームみたいだな。So he wasn't the only Nisato with strange hobbies, huh? Osorak. Tokte no Junde Sosa of Sreba, Shkakega Sado Sreno Daroga. Kokoro Atari wa Arimaska. Karas no Kokoro Zashi. Ka. So Fushioshi ni Sasaguruga. Karas no Kokoro Zashi Nari. That had to be it. No Satoke no Mono Naraba, Akira Reru, the Wakedeska. Ah, Tagon Muyo no Kakunda Karana. Scassi, she pies Tatoki Dona Rudarone. Sense and Sendai got scrasta Shkakenara. Wana no Hitotsia Futats. Sconde at Temo Kaskunai. Honki Deska. いやしかし、野里さんは問題なく開けられるはずですよね。何だったかな爪だったか羽だったかまずい。自信がない。君は覚えていないか ?Hey! Oh, crap! Hmm. And I'm coming up right on an hour, huh? Well, it's been about an hour, and I'm assuming there's going to be some mind bending, crazy reveal that will shake my worldview and understanding of reality. So, I think this is a good place to stop.、Um, I, did we.
Yeah, I don't I don't recall this. Maybe they did say it at some point, but I don't recall this. Okay, we're going to get pick up right here next time. I've been the warm. This has been Raging Loop and I hope to see you for this. Bye-bye.